First step to getting a podcast on the website is making sure the file is small enough. So um, the easiest way to do that is in iTunes. You just bring your file into iTunes, go to iTunes Preferences, and make sure the import settings are as low as you can stand. Uh, MP3 encoder, uh, the, the podcast player can only play MP3 audio, uh, or if you do video, it needs to be flash video, so .flv for that. Okay, in iTunes, go to Custom, Bitrate, Make it as low, low as possible. Um, 64 is the highest you'll ever need to go. That 64K will make a really high quality vocal sermon podcast. So you can go as low as 32 if you want. Um, you don't need to use variables. The sample rate, you want to keep it on one of the even numbers, so 22 or 44, uh, so to make sure every computer will be able to play it properly. Uh, 22 should be fine. Mono, definitely. Um, again, since it's just one person's voice, um, you really don't need much quality. You're not going to notice the difference, honestly, if you go higher than this. So, that's that, and what you'll do is you'll go to your file, right-click, and click Create MP3 Version. And what it'll do, I'll just go ahead and do it with this. Oh, okay. If it's a purchase file you can't do it. Anyways, what it will do is create another another file uh, that when you click get info it'll show you that it's really small. See, this is protected AAC. It'll say MPEG layer 3. Okay, so once you got that you want to FTP your file to the server. Uh, and what you'll do, depending on your FTP program, uh, if you've got, like, this is transmit, you can also use fetch. Uh, FileZilla is probably the most easy, the most common one at least for uh, Windows. And what you're going to do, you're going to sign in using the media at Awaken City Church FTP username. Okay, and if you don't have the login info for that, just get in touch with Chris Carey, and he will be able to get that info to you. And what's cool is whenever you sign in with that media username, you'll be taken straight to this folder. Um, and what you do, this is where all the the sermon audio is and like the pictures of the, of the speakers, like Frank and Ray are the only ones in there right now. If you have a guest speaker, you can take a quick picture of him or her and upload that in here. Um, so that's that. So you want to take your file and upload it to the folder. And once that's done, you can close your FTP program and open up your web browser. Go to wakencitychurch.com slash administrator or log into the back end. And you're going to go to the components menu. And scroll down here to Sermon Speaker. You can just click right on Sermon Speaker. Okay, that's where we are now. Uh, if, if this is a new, a new person, a new speaker, then you're going to need to add them in here. Uh, if it's Frank or Ray, they're already in here, so you don't need to do that. Uh, if this is part of a sermon series, you want to hit Add Edit Series. Okay, I just uploaded one, so let's create a new series. Click New, and we'll call this sample sermon series. Um, you can choose who you want it to display as the person who created this. I'm just going to choose website admin. The number of speakers, you know, if you've got like guest speakers coming in that are part of a series, you can add their names in here. Um, you can give it a description, you can give it an avatar if you want. Um, and to give it an avatar, you need to upload it to that media folder. Um, and that'll show up in this list. Right now, there's only that's the only image in the avatars folder. So okay, and then you would click save. So let's save that. And there's sample sermon series. Click on that, and you can edit if you need to. Okay, so sermon. The only sermon that's on the site right now is the Super Bowl message. Um, so to create a new one, you just click new. Give it a title. Scripture reference if you want, um, Psalm 1, 1, Sermon Date, 2010, let's say, today's the 24th, so I'll just do that, and then MP3 Path, you can type this in manually if you want, um, or, you know, when you upload your file to that media folder, it's going to show up in this list right here, see so components, con, circuit speaker, sermon speaker, media. Uh, Super Bowl message is the only one that's been uploaded. 
and then the one that came with the component is called default sermon. Uh, so let's just say this is going to be the default sermon.mp3. Um, instead, you would choose your file name. Hope that makes sense. Sermon number, you can you don't have to number it. I'll just say it's number two. Timeline, I don't know how long it is. Uh, let's say it's uh, 45 minutes and 30 seconds is how long the sermon is. Say Frank preached it. It's in the sample sermon series. And this was entered by website admin. Uh, you you want to publish it. If you click published, then it's going to publish it on the this area right here under sermons online. Um, see, to view this, you would click on Frank's sermons right there. And their Super Bowl, Super Bowl message that's published under his name. If you click sermon cast, then it's going to publish it also to this module right here, uh, which if I click on this, it's going to take us to our FeedBurner site. Uh, this is where all, all of the sermon podcasting is going to be handled, uh, the RSS feed, they're going to be met, handled through FeedBurner because it's just easier to work with iTunes and um, people's podcasting software if you use FeedBurner instead of your own website. But that's all automatic for you. I set that up so that if you click that sermon cast button, it does all that automatic stuff for you. <laughs> so once you do that, you hit, you hit save, and it, that's it. It's live. It's on the site. Um, I'm going to hit cancel because I don't want to save that. And then I'm going to delete sample sermon series because we don't need that. You just hit the delete button at the top there. If you want to edit a sermon, you just click that button, Super Bowl message. See, I can go in here later, and if you want to add a scripture, you can. You can change the description, the sermon notes, rather. Um, and that's pretty much it.